from Laundry Basket Quilts. Welcome to Quilting Window Live. I'm so thrilled that you are here and I am excited about all the beautiful things that we have prepared for you today. We're gonna have an amazing show. Today, during the show, I wanna talk to you about our contest. We have posted the blog, we have all the rules, but let's go over those together. Then we're gonna look at it, what subscription we have and talk a little bit about our common bride. Then we're gonna finish the show with all brand new things that we have it in our studio. So stay tuned. I have so many wonderful things for you guys. So, but before we start our show, let's do drum roll. Who was the winner from last week contest? You know how we do little contests? Sometimes you get to answer the questions right during the live show, but always in the end of the show lately, I have been uh, posting a pic uh, uh, question and you have a whole week to answer. So I just went through all the names, spin the wheel, and guess what? Maria Beth is the winner. So please, please, if you can, uh, contact us. Mariah, I'm so sorry. Ma Mariah Beth is the winner. We will send you a message and she is going to win beautiful little scissors and a little um, magnetic pin cushion. And the question was, how many polka dots is my, it is in my da 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 quilt? 483 polka dots yes so exciting so congratulations mariah and please make sure you email us and we also will try to contact you so that we can get your address and ship to you your goodies i'm gonna put them to the side so they don't disappear in this beautiful ocean of new sewing goods so we just kicked in our incredible first time ever event for our patriotic quilts. It's a 4th of July uh, uh, fabric challenge and the fabric challenge is based on a half yard cut of a fabric with red stars or blue stars. So I have the rules in front of me. I'm gonna refresh them with you guys just so I don't forget something. So rule number one is you have to use a piece of fabric like this in your quilt. Okay, so you can get a half a yard, you can get multiple half yards, you can use both red and blue. And I'm gonna show you some example how fun it is to use this fabric. So the first thing you use this fabric, then you jump into your stash and just create a fireworks of red, light and blues uh, from your fabrics. If you do not have enough of your own fabrics to add to this panel, you can go ahead to our website and we have the small rolls. Small roll in blue, in light and in red. That gives you a nice variety of reds, blues and and lights. So you can go ahead and get those from our website. We have them, they're in stock, the scrappy rows, they vary sometimes one to the other because we keep cutting them from any favorites laundry basket. And in one row, you have four and a half inch width by width of fabric. So one eighth of a yard, a long eighth of a yard. And they are 12 pieces in one row, 12 different blues, 12 beautiful lights or 12 gorgeous reds. So choose and pick which one you want to. Maybe if you're getting your red stars, you only want to the light, the uh, blue and uh, light. If you're doing blue stars, you may be wanting light and uh, red. I'm just suggesting, but I'm pretty sure and I would be very happy and so excited for you guys to go ahead and use up some of those gorgeous fabrics that you have in your stash. Now, another rule for the quilt is that the a quilt or project, you can make a table runner, you can make a jacket, you can make a bag, you can make anything you wanted to, as long as not smaller than 20 inches and not bigger than 80 inches square. So we're kind of keeping a little bit like a boundaries for you. So uh, don't send me a coaster, okay? You has to be at least 20 inches uh, big uh, of a little quilt or table runner. I'm gonna leave it up to you how you're going to design. You can use your challenge fabric as a, uh, a border, as a sashing, 
cornerstone, center of a blog. You can use it in so many wonderful ways. So go to our blog at laundrybasketquilts.com. I just posted the blog on Wednesday and you will find all the information about this event there. And you also see some beautiful quilts. And speaking of beautiful quilts, so many of you went to the blog and just love the one quilt that I made is this one where I'm using the stars as my cornerstone and as centers in my log cabin variation of a log cabin block. Yes, this will be a pattern. I myself am working on a lot of fun designs with the panels to inspire you. <clears throat> so uh, the a question was many of you have sent a question if we you be able to get this pattern absolutely we will have variety of patterns where i'm gonna show a different ways of using those stars in a block in a sashing in a cornerstone all different ways so be patient and enjoy the fabric start getting creative and start making your projects in the next week to two weeks we will announce and believe me i'm gonna brag about it i'm gonna tell you over the live show i'm gonna send a newsletter where you submit your pictures we're getting ready a beautiful platform where you are gonna be able to submit your pictures with a little description i would love you to write a small description what inspire you what is so special about the quilt that you're making and with those pictures going to be on that platform we're going to have an album of them that everybody can go visit them look at it get excited about it and enjoy all your beautiful beautiful projects then the contest will finish on july 1st on july 1st no more submission we close the contest and on july 1st from july 1st to 4 we are going to be working on looking through all the pictures getting ready and then on july 4 we will announce our winner through our blog so we're going to show all the winners and we have a fantastic door prizes guys there's so many of them a lot of you guys are going to be able to win incredible prizes but to win the prize you have to submit a picture of the quilt made with the panel and just get creative get creative so please do that once we have the winner we're going to celebrate like i said on 4th of july with beautiful pictures of all the quilts and fireworks of door prizes for the winners and we're gonna have my choice our staff choice first second third place we're gonna have all different fun uh, um, uh, choices who wins the prizes so do not worry and i'm gearing up to have more than enough prizes for a lot of, of you guys so we're gonna have some sponsors from our friends at Andover, uh, Orphil and other places so be ready for a great finale to this incredible event but for now that's all that you need to know just grab a piece of fabric and start getting creative and some of you last time asked me about the panel this is a half a yard right here when you open the half a yard and we are cutting so carefully we are cutting to make sure that we fit four stars right here from the edge to the edge and that is going to give you a room i had a ruler someplace close here because i wanted to show you guys how you can just put your ruler right over and then trim and cut out your little stars and then put it into the quilt so you have plenty of room between the stars to cut it from point to point the stars are on average three and a quarter um, size so if you add a quarter and quarter you need to cut it at three and three quarters but i'm going to leave this up to you and guess what if you want to cut it through the middle and piece the other half of the star so be it guys get creative you can do it you can cut up circles right up and applique all the way around i'm you know i'm really excited for it maybe the stars are the flowers on your branches for your applique get creative have fun with it and like i said we have those half year bundles on our website and these panels were exclusively printed for laundry basket quilts i had them done for our contest so 
please come to our website. I'm sorry, you cannot find them anywhere else, but I prefer them especially for our contest. So go ahead and enjoy them. In uh, probably May, um, uh, June, we will have yardage for sale from this panel. So for anybody that just want the fabric and want extra for their own projects, we will have it, but that's later on. That's the second shipment that we're gonna be getting from this panel. So uh, don't worry, we have more coming in. And speaking of patriotic quilts, I'm gonna move this to the side. I brought some fun quilts and some inspiration for you guys. Our Virginia Star Mini showcase really nice how you can use the stars in each corner of that little mini quilt. I also chose Made in USA because I thought, oh, a blue star right here would be so cute for this mini quilt. You can use existing designs. You can go ahead, pick your favorite pattern and incorporate into that pattern your way how you would use the panel. So the content, contest is not only to design brand new quilt, but really how would you use that pre-printed panel to create a patriotic quilt. Now notice this freedom star. I just pulled this quilt and I was like, wow, this would be amazing if I would have had that fabric and was able to use it as my background. Can you imagine have, this is piece star. This is already existing in a pattern, but right here, there was all this beautiful um, uh, p uh, background that I could have have some stars happening right here or here. So, and you could applicate over if you want to just cut out circle and applicate rings of stars. So many fun ideas, but I pulled this quilt because I thought, oh, this would have been a really fun one. And speaking of fun ones, I showed you oh, those little patterns, for example, like the Made in USA or Virginia Star. I just want to remind you that we do have kits, so you can get a kit and then get a half a yard of a panel and incorporate in a kit. That way you have guarantee something fun and exciting. So Made in USA Mini, we have that kit as well as I noticed right here, Freedom Star is another one. That's the one I showed you, the big one, that we have a kit if you wanted to uh, incorporate that uh, into it. Now, speaking of patriotic quilts, I have to tell you, we have something brand new coming in. We have a brand new pattern for you guys. You love our Pioneer Log Cabin. And last time I showed you this incredible Pioneer Log Cabin Patriotic. And look at this quilt. One of my dear friends made this. I'm so excited that she let me borrow this one to show it to you guys. But in the meantime, I create a beautiful pattern just so all of you can go ahead and make this quilt. And we have a pre-cut kit for our uh, log cabin. So you, what you would do is you would just enjoy this regular pre-cut kit. Isn't that lovely? All pieces completely pre-cut for you. All that you have to do is add a little red to it. And again, if you want to, you can grab some of those bundles <clears throat> to have extra red for the center and the borders. I think if you're doing those, you're going to need a little bit more than just the two. I think you need two and two. So maybe better option is I had them close by. Oh, right here. We have heartwarming reds and blushing lights that are really nice if you want to add a little extra splash of red into that Pioneer Log Cabin to create those stars on a border. Oh, like I showed you last week, uh, you can go ahead and get our pre-cut quilters dozen. We have them and you can go ahead and put those around the quilt as well. So that is uh, something new from Laundry Basket Quilts. As you can tell, I'm super excited about those blue, red and white quilts because this contest is just brewing so much love inside of me for uh, patriotic quilts that I'm just looking forward to it. I love blue quilts and I love adding a splash of color to it. And I brought this quilt today with me. This one calls Reaching Blue Sky because I want to just 
show you something that maybe you wanted to do it what about doing applique and adding your stars instead of those little uh, nine patches would that be beautiful can you imagine those branches and those red stars right in between isn't that a great look at this how cute and right away this little splash of red just completely takes it to different level for the quilt so that's reaching blue sky we have the pattern available on our website so i hope that's fun inspiration for you guys if you have any questions about the um event 4 of july our um fabric challenge from laundry basket quilts please either email us or save the comments we're gonna ask are we gonna have some time to answer some question later on in the show Today is just Michael and me, Erin is not in, so please be patient with us. We're doing our personal best and all that we wanna do is make you guys happy and uh, still enjoy some quilting. So another fun things that we do right now and we are halfway through this event is our common bride. Guys, I cannot believe it, we half through it. We just finished half of the steps we have some four more steps. I'm telling you, I just finished taping all of the rest of the videos. The quilt from the kit is coming together so beautifully. If you have not purchased the kit, you're gonna regret it when you see my quilt. You're gonna be like, I should have got this. And once they sell out, we're gonna be done with them because I have specially color coordinate and select all those fabrics and some of them are just not available anymore. And so we have the common bride, those are all your colors. Make sure you save every single scrap because when you're gonna come to applique and you should have your quilt cut before you start on your appliques because when it's gonna come to appliques, you're gonna want all this variety of all the pieces so that way your applique is just as colorful as the rest of the quilt. And this is the second part of this kit where you have all the gorgeous lights, backgrounds, binding. I'm telling you, I am jumping from joy because my quilt is coming together so nice. I do have more work, but guess what? Monday, the step number five, you only have to make four blocks. So that gives you a little bit time to catch up if you fell behind on stars. And I'm a little bit behind myself. I'm working through it, but I will have it done. Don't you worry, don't you worry, I have it done. So we do, we have a common bright pattern for you. We have templates and we have a kit. If you wanna get involved, in that project called Common Bright Quilt Along. And all of the videos are on our YouTube channel. They're gonna stay there. You can take your time and do it in 16 weeks. Give yourself two weeks for each step, but by setting up a goal that you're gonna get this done in this two weeks or this week really moves you along. Sometimes we start up a project like, oh, okay, well, now, give yourself goals push yourself make sure that you get things done so that way you can finish your beautiful project so that is our common bride behind me i have another incredible quilt this one called simple life and i brought this quilt because i just love it and it's just today was one of those days that i just needed those little cute images of simple life my family our home all the things that i love and just remember how much fun it was to make this quilt this one is done with blue and light scraps you can use any fabrics and their applique in this pattern we have a hand machine of usable applique so you can easily done and do not be afraid of this whole quilt because it's done in the sections so for example this is a block i would applique everything that is inside the block i sew my blocks together and then applique the other images right over the seams very nice full layouts this pattern is incredible notice it's all full layouts all the pieces that you need and you can easily do it and oh can you imagine this one applique in wool with beautiful embroidered stitches i think that's gonna be the next one i'm gonna do it i'm super excited about some wool projects so that is that one 
last um, uh, this week was all fun because I took a part in a wonderful quilt fest that happened through the internet. There was a wonderful quilt show with quilts. And one of the things that I was showing there was our Rainbow Scraps book. And I just want to remind you guys, and maybe with your contest, you find a quilt where you wanted to pull a pattern from this book and then use your beautiful stars with it. So uh, Rainbow Scraps available on our website. And guess what? If you go to our website, you're gonna get a signed copy if you would like to, just request that. So make sure that you email us or make a little note with your order that you want a signed copy. We have beautiful books and I can't wait for you to get them. Rainbow Scraps is one of my favorites, 20 projects for $34.95. It's such a good price. I am so excited for you guys. So that's that one. And now let's move to all those goodies. Before I start with our sewing basket, I have to show you those kits again. I want to show you some wooden tools that I have on a table because notions are so much fun. And I want to put a little spotlight on Modern Am American. This is a company, uh, Chris is the person that make these tools. He is delightful and he puts such a uh, detail into his tools and you have seam reaper, you have your stiletto, you have your pressing tool. You can get this cute little set for yourself. I think you need to treat yourself, especially when you're working on a big quilts where you need nice tools. This wooden set is so pretty. Then another thing, if you cannot afford a big set, we have our wooden low presser. This one is just an icon. Everybody loves it. We can hardly keep them in stock. And this one is also made in USA. And I just love that both of those are part to support somebody here in this country and their family. The same person that makes those for us makes our pincushion bases. Isn't that cute? Those are the smaller one. I really like them. And guess what? I just got a little doily and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to make my little pin cushion with it. So what I'm going to do is use a little muslin as a lining. And then I'm going to put my dolly and then pull it to create that little ball that I'm going to place it right here. I'm excited about something new for my sewing room. It's so much fun. And guys, let's be honest. It is so nice to have multiple pin cushion in your sewing room where you can just have one by your sewing machine, one by your cutting table, and one where you just, uh, you know, sit down and stitch. So it's really nice to have a, a pretty ones and I love them, love them. So those are available on our website. Just go to Laundry Basket Quilts and you can purchase them. And I did a video on those. So you have to look back on those videos where I made a pin cushion. I'm gonna post one on our Instagram so that way you can save it and easily find it, how to make a pin cushion. So <clears throat> those are the fun tools. Another fun tool is that I have it on the table today is a thread clipper. My girls downstairs, when they're cutting fabrics and they have to quickly clip things, or uh, a little thread is laying, they use those and love them. And I enjoy them, especially when I'm uh, doing machine quilting and some threads are sitting easily, nice and clipped. Just be careful, they're very, very sharp. So be careful because you don't wanna clip more than you need it. So those are very, very fun. And now <clears throat> two more fun uh, little items for Notion is our fabric marker and our wonderful So Daisy. So Daisy, you use it on the top and the bottom of Orofil threads, and then you can hide your pins inside that little tube. So when you travel, you don't lose your pins and don't lose your needle. So those are super, super fun. Speaking of Orofil, we have two sets that I wanna put a spotlight on it. It's the signature style and the pillow talk sets, especially the pillow talk would go great with the rainbow scraps. The signature style is perfect for any project, especially the blue and light one. So if you doing our contest and you're looking for some fun threads, those one would be delightful. 
speaking of fun things, I have also nice pins for you guys today. And I like them because they're a little bit stronger. And I like to use them when I have to pin like thick layers and just really hold it down. So those pins are available on our website and they're super fun. Another thing that I brought it today is our shooting star block uh, pattern and a block um, uh, Accu die. So those are Accu die. And if you don't know what quilt to make with this one, you can make a block, but you can make a quilt. Look at this lovely quilt. This one called Shooting Star, Blooming Star, right here. Look at this, isn't that delightful? But I pulled this because I thought to myself, wow, what about making those beautiful points right here and applique one of our stars from our panel in the center of the block. Wouldn't that be fun? You would have to make the circle a little bit bigger. Remember, it is three and a quarter inch, so a little bit bigger, but what a fun design. So just wanted to tickle your elbow. Just want to give you some foot for thought and see if you wanted to play together with me and make some beautiful patriotic quilts. But if you don't, that's okay. I'm so thankful that you just come and watch our video. And I'm extremely thankful for all of you guys that do our subscription. From our Fabric Club subscription to our Little Quilts Club to our Block of the Month, I find myself one of the luckiest girl out there that so many of you wanted to do projects with me and signed up for our monthly subscription. Our Fabric Club subscription is one of our most successful one. Guys, you get 12 beautiful fabrics, 12 fat quarters every month that I choose and pick from all different collections. And this month you got a pattern and you got a coupon because we accidentally forgot your coupon last month. So I apologize for that. But you can sign up for our subscription. Guess what? Anytime we forget something, don't worry, we can edit that a little goodie for you next time. But um, if you wanted to sign up for the subscription, you can just go ahead to our website, sign it up and enjoy it. If you need help, call us and our girls at customer service would be so happy to help you do that. Fabric Club is my favorite. You will not believe it how many times I go open the box and pull something. I have added some little tiny sprinkle of uh, some laundry baskets uh, stuff to my common bride. Or if I need a quick project, everything is color coordinated, simple pattern. So many fun things that you get with this box. Now, another fun subscription that it just blows me away how excited you are about it. And guess what? Next month we have two in a price of one. So next month you get two little quilts instead of one. Yes, I know. I know we've done this once before and you loved it that you were able to get two. So I was like, yep, let's do it again. And guess what? It is pre-cut. Both of the little quilts are completely pre-cut for you. But let's don't jump ahead. That's next month. Last month we had cute little hearts. And yes, now I get to reveal this one. So this was the little hearts from last month. We did the class. I showed you how to applicate and I did mine by hand, but it's so cute. So you can also do it by machine if you wanted to, and you, or you can use both techniques. But look at this one. This is this month, a little house. I am so excited for you guys. This month in your subscription box, you getting a little house that's your quilt and we have included a special gift for you so go ahead i'm not gonna spoil that one if you get it you're gonna be so excited yes you can send us an email and tell us how thankful you are but we are surprising you in your subscription with something super special that i think you really would like it and speaking of special things next month we are starting our next block of the month. We have uh, three different blocks of the month. We have our Teller Shop Village. So that's the house blocks that you get two blocks a month, every month that started in January. 
last month we started our sewing basket and that one is pieced and applique quilt it's a medallion quilt that is to die for i think you can still sign up for it if you call our customer service but next month you still have a chance to sign for this one is the blizzard and our first block is going to be our center block it's so much fun completely pre-cut from our coco blue collection and guys you will love this quilt it is super super special so if you want to sign up for our block of the month and uh, enjoy it we will be sending you a pattern and pre-cut kit every month for next few months and then you will have a beautiful snowflake quilt by the time the uh, uh, summer passes and the weather comes cold again so those are just few of the subscription that i wanted to remind you about it i'm going to move those things out of my way just a tiny bit because i wanted to show you guys those wonderful things right here and it's our kids from our sewing basket yes and you know i didn't put any prices to the side i'm gonna put a pin cushion base to the side and i'm gonna treat you for one of those big sets from uh, modern american um they are gonna be just wonderful somebody's gonna win a set i'm gonna be asking two questions i hope you paid attention to our show so right there let's talk about our kids we have five new kids that are with sewing basket those kids are incredible and next week we're getting two moa that are completely pre-cut so one of our kids is the candy basket this one is just stunning look at how big how incredible it is and we have a a uh, very nice girl in our office that does all the packaging her name is Juliet guess what Juliet is just incredible look at this look at this kid how she packed how stunning it is I almost don't want to unpack it when I wanted to go take this home and work on it because it is so beautifully done so candy basket is one of the kids that we have it available another one is our Solaris this one come in three color option let me show you we have a Solaris with a pink background yellow background and blue background so you have this gorgeous big star the quilt is 73 by 73 so it's a nice size the uh, candy basket is 58 by 68 beautiful quilt and another one is the split nine patch the split nine patch look at this gorgeous kid i'm gonna need both hands to pick that one up this one is 64 by 64 and look at that gorgeous kid with this one we also gonna have it as a free cut option so those are just some of them now uh, let's see what else i have it here another one is the variegated threads and again what a gorgeous packaging look at this juliet did this how nice so variegated thread again 57 by 74 another gorgeous gorgeous kit so five new kits that i'm showing you one two three four and yes the last one is the fifth one it let it shine and this one was the inspiration for our kitchen towels yes and guys we have them available on our website if you need a really cute kitchen towel for easter you need to go to our website candy basket should be your number one right now then we have the beautiful shining star you have to get a cute little kitchen towel for yourself or for your friend or as you carrying your dish beautifully your ham to your friend's house how nice it would be to carry with a gorgeous brand new towel so go to our website and enjoy those kitchen towels and have some fun with them let it shine is a beautiful beautiful design and the kit is so big look at this it's in two bags because we could not fit all this gorgeous fabric in just one so look at this this is our shining star kit for you guys to enjoy it so those are 
some of the new things that we have. I notice your eyes are all over this side of the room, but before I take you there, I wanna show you we have two kids that are gonna be on special for the weekend, and I don't wanna forget them. This uh, spotlight, that's this one. Look how gorgeous it is, yes. It's all beautiful eight point star strip piece. Uh, there are uh, white seams in the stars, but so simple, so easy, you can do it. Now, another one is our love letter right here. Look at that one. And the kit is also so beautiful. So both of those kits would be on special this week, uh, weekend. So if you want one, go ahead to our website at Laundry Basket Quilts. And I know you all are pulling towards this star. Isn't that beautiful? That one calls Liberty Star. And I brought this quilt again because I am definitely going to be doing this one with a ring of stars set in fussy cut into this area. So what you do, you take a template or you take your Alaska ruler, fussy cut, that you can put some stars going around or maybe four of them could be part of the center right here. So think about it if that's what you want to do. Liberty Star, we do have a, a kit for that one. It's packed in our gorgeous canvas bags. So that's this one and it is right here. The pattern and the kit are available on our website at laundrybasketquilts.com. And now let's have some fun with you guys. So my first question for you are, how many new kits did we add it to our website from our sewing basket collection? And whoever answered correctly is gonna get a cutest little pincushion base from me. Yes, do we have an answer? And do we have any questions today, Michael? Um, hold on. Oh, that's wonderful. All right, everybody is looking at uh, answering the question, how many new kits do we have on our website for sewing basket? How many new kits? Uh, Michael is like wondering because he uh, didn't pay attention. Yes. Exactly. I didn't, yes. I didn't pay attention to that this time, so I'm gonna be questioning myself. But from the looks of the answers, it, I think I know what it is. So. I love that. Okay, can you tell me, did anybody answer? And do we have any questions? Um, yeah, actually, there is one question I saw come through a little bit earlier. Um, okay. I apologize if I missed some because I can't see them all. But uh, the one question that came through was about the, the star panel. Um, yes. Someone asked, they had bought some last year, and it's a four-inch star. Yes, um, so that's the bigger one. You can use that one in our contest too. Okay, so if you have the one from last year, go ahead, use it in our contest. It does not matter. We have, uh, we only have available left this one. That's what I'm talking about this one. But if you have previously bought blue or red, the one that it's bigger, please. And last week I showed that panel too. And I, um, I think I put it to the side on the other table uh, for today, but uh, you can use that panel I just want to see a beautiful project done with our panels and uh, the size will not matter because you, you, you are the designer. You can size this any way you want it to, okay? As long as you make a project, finish it up, take a picture and send it to us on time, we're going to be good to go. Do not send the pictures yet. Next week, we will announce, sometimes next week, the latest to, by the end of this month, we will show you a link where you, where you download your pictures. So just be patient. We are working on that. We have to create a special gallery. We got such a good response, so we can't just take the pictures. It's going to be hundreds of pictures for you guys to see it. I hope, I hope. So we are gearing up and preparing for a nice response to that and hope you send your pictures to win a beautiful door prizes. Okay. Uh, who won our so contest? I'll go ahead. I apologize. I'm not as good, as good as this as Aaron is, but that's okay. I'll do my best, Aaron. I apologize for this. <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, the winner we have, the answer was five. And yes. our winner was Wooly Girl. 
Willie girl, congratulations. You just won the cutest little pincushion base. You're gonna have to make your little pincushion with it, but it's a good starting point. We're gonna be shipping that to you as soon as you email us your address. So congratulations to Willie girl. And my next question for you guys is, how many patterns is in our Rainbow Scraps book? How many patterns is we have in our Rainbow Scrap books? How many quilt patterns we have it in our Rainbow Scraps book? And as you guys looking for that answer, I'm going to answer another question. Do we have another one, Michael? Um, let, me, let me look and see. I think there was. Michael's looking. If you guys have any questions, and I'm gonna open the stools. We're gonna give them to some, and uh, the person that answer correct, how many patterns is in our new Rainbow Scraps book? Somebody's gonna win this beautiful set. I'm super excited for you guys. And then I'm gonna have a third door prize for, our, for somebody for next week. So still take, stay tuned because we have one more question that I'm gonna be asking you guys in the meantime as michael is uh, trying to uh, find the answers and see who win i want to pull this out this is half yard cut bundle from our sewing basket half yard cut bundle okay this is so beautiful when you open it up and uh, normally we don't pack them this way because we want to we don't want to crinkle them too much for you when we cut it we fold all the fabrics together and put it but the girls have packaged really nice for me so that way i can show you this whole collection look at this look at this i would not be able to cut into it i don't know how i'm gonna do this it is so beautiful i'm gonna be just looking at it and displaying on my wall in my sewing room at home this is so lovely look at all these gorgeous colors this is perfect for any quilts and one of my favorite quilts that i think i'm gonna have to do it again is from one of our uh, books is the um, patchwork garden where we i did a block of the month kind of a program with all different flower uh, flower patch um, uh, with all different blocks and flowers oh that one was so much fun michael do we have an answer we do i love that um, for, so for the um rainbow scraps book there yes 20 patterns in it that's correct and our winner today was ruth ann farber ruth congratulations i am so glad you paid attention and you remember that we have 20 patterns in this beautiful book please go to our website and order one of the books you're gonna enjoy it they are just wonderful all the projects there are some more difficult ones but there are also some simple ones there are a lot of them that gives you just the base you can use up any of your scraps and put them in the colors that i have it in the pages and you're gonna have a beautiful scrappy quilt. If you use the sewing basket with it, let me bring the sewing basket back. If you use this bundle, or if you use any of your scraps, look at this. You could be having so, so, so much fun with this beautiful book. So that was our uh, question for the book. Now our last question, and I'm gonna gift somebody with something super cute remember how i was looking for my ruler and i was like i had a ruler here and i couldn't find it because it's sitting where it's supposed to be in our little ruler stand look at how cute and small it is and i love that all those items are made out of wood and they beautifully match and did you see my ruler uh, rest has a little rest area for my rotary on my pressing i like to put my rotary right here sitting but look at how nice this is that little ruler i was telling you about the four and a half inch is really nice we have it on our website if you need it to put over your little blocks and center it up really nice so that way when you're trimming and cutting you have a quarter inch all the way around the edges and then you can use your blocks anywhere you want to but you're the creator i'm gonna stay out of it 
you can cut the stars right in half and piece it to something else, like I said, and make it completely different and unexpected. So um, somebody's gonna win this ruler stand right there. And my last question for you guys is, how many pieces of fabric we have in our sewing basket collection? I asked you that once before but I wonder if you paid attention. Let's see if anybody answers and you have time until next week to answer. So, and you can answer multiple times, multiple times if you want to, you can answer once, but I have a favorite for you guys to ask you, can you do me a favorite and make sure you give us thumbs up, make sure you send this video to a friend so they can enjoy a little bit of fun and maybe get excited about quilting and join us in some of the fun events that we have. So please share this video with your friends, thumbs up and promise me to have a wonderful weekend of quilting, please. I hope so. Now, do we have any more question, Michael? Unfortunately, I, I wasn't able to follow it like Aaron does, so I'm sorry. I, I can't. Uh, once the live chat goes so far, I can't go back that far to see questions what? anymore. So that's the only one I noticed when I'm not doing my other job. <laughs> so guess what? What we're going to do, guys, if you have some mm -hmm. question, just email them to us, and I'm going to try to answer them next time I see you next week, Friday. We're hoping to have our usual Wednesday quilting corner show, but we're waiting for Erin to come back to us. So if I don't see you on Wednesday, I for sure going to see you on Friday for our live show. I wish you a wonderful weekend and happy quilting.